Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm super excited to talk about an awesome update on the Conversation AI. So we now have an option to trigger Conversation AI on the live chat channel. And this is going to be super huge for businesses because you know for the live chat, we need to have a person communicating back and forth. And if your team is busy or if it's outside work hours, the lead is going to lose interest if they don't hear back from you soon. So leveraging Conversation AI on live chat is going to be a really big opportunity because you could be collecting leads all day long through this if you have the right set of automations dialed in. So let's dive into our sub account and see how we can make use of it. So I'm inside a workflow for my Go High Level sub account. And as you can see in the trigger, I have a customer replied trigger and then I've just named it live chat. And under the filters for the reply channel, we have selected live chat here so that whenever there's a new message on the live chat, we can trigger this automation. And then you'll see that if I click here, we can put a conversation AI step right here. I've already kind of done this. So I'm just going to open that here. And then you'll see we have some advanced board configurations where you can tweak the prompts if you need to. But the real thing here is the question that will go out first. So if somebody is reaching out for their first message, this is the question we'll ask them. Thanks for reaching out. What is exactly what you're looking for? And once you've added in the question, the next thing we have is timeout. And then the most important thing is the channel. So here you need to make sure that live chat is selected. So conversation AI kicks in. And then if you scroll down, we have branches. So we have no condition met and timeout in by default. And then I've added some custom branches, which is HVAC repair and the new installation. So I'm doing this demonstration for HVAC business and our goal is that we have a funnel about the HVAC installations and repairs and then we have integrated Go High Levels live chat here and I want to have conversation AI kick in once people are asking questions on the live chat and this is exactly how we're doing it here. So we have these branches here with these keywords. So let's say somebody talks about repair or if they're asking questions about the repair, we'll send a live chat message in which we can say something about the repairs so you can give them an answer here and then basically connect them to a user. So let's say if somebody's talking about repairs, we need to assign them to a specific user i can do that here you can also send them a notification so you can select this one right here and then let's say you'd want to do a notification you can title that that you have a new lead interested in the live chat for hvac repairs so that is something you can add here and in the case of new installations you can send a different message and again you can assign that to the other user that we have here just as an example and if you need to send some more messages on the same chat you can click here again and then just search for live and it will show you the send live chat message so whatever you type in here will come off as a response into the live chat for that specific lead so as you can see this is pretty easy to do this is a very basic example of a conversation ai being used for a live chat of course you can make this journey much more extensive add more workflows to it to define a whole experience from start to finish so you can give as much information that you want to give to the lead and then collect the information so your team can get back to them so i've just saved this workflow i'm just going to go back here refresh the funnel and then we'll do a live test of how the conversation ai kicks in into the live chat so i'm just going to click here and then click on start a new chat here and then i can say something like hi there just super randomly and then we'll wait for the bot response so it says, hey, guest, and it says guest because we do not have a name available at this point. It's a new conversation. So it says, thanks for reaching out. What is it exactly what you're looking for? So this is the same exact question that we have asked in the first step right here. So you can tweak it if you need to. And now I'll say something like, I need some help. I need to get my system repaired. So as soon as I say that, it will take a few seconds and then it will respond back with the appropriate answer. So because I've mentioned the repair keyword in there, and if I go back here in one of our branches, you can see we have HVAC repair. So if I go here under the branches, you can see this is one of the conditions. So if this is being satisfied, we need to send this message, which is let me connect you with one of our repair specialists in a moment. So if I go back here, this is exactly what it has said. So it is basically fulfilling that conversation. So if I go back to the automation here and go to the execution logs, we should have assigned to user action kick in as well. So I'll just do that real quick. And you can see the assigned user did work here as well. So this is super cool. You can see how conversation AI could be used in the live chat channel now. Now, of course, if you need to make it more efficient, you'll need to add in some more steps, maybe ask them some more qualifying questions so you can send all that information to your user so that was about it again this can be really really helpful if you have a lot of traffic coming to the website so enable live chat add conversation ai to it to supercharge it you could be collecting much more leads that was about this video thank you for watching